Welcome to Weeping Willow Homestead. Today I have a food pantry haul for you. This is our local county run food pantry. Um, you are allowed to come in twice a month. The one time is commodities day, which is um, it's set items. You push the cart through, they put the things on your cart and you leave. You don't get to pick and choose, um, but it's the things that are more government subsidized rather than local donations. The other day is you get to pick which day from the days that they are open through the month that you choose to come in. So what we do is we um, tend to schedule it for when uh, we haven't been to the grocery store in a while and away from the other food pantry, um, like two weeks or three weeks away from the other food pantry, so that we're kind of spacing out when we get items so that it makes the most sense for what we when we need it. Um, so that was today and you get to pick and choose what you want which is nice and what that means is like if they have canned vegetables you get to pick out four of whatever canned vegetables you want if they have bread products it'll be like you can pick two off of this shelf one off of this shelf two off of this shelf kind of thing um, it's not like a free-for-all and you get to get whatever you want but um, it's a, a more along the lines of you get so many items off of each shelf and you get to pick and choose so that's nice because you're able to pick the things that you know that your family will eat and and pass on the things that you won't so all right let's jump in and see what we were blessed with we got not one but two gallons of milk which is awesome don't mind my clean laundry in the background there uh they also had eggs but our chickens are still laying well so uh, we passed on the eggs there is a jug of unsweetened tea, which is awesome because that's something that my husband will drink. Uh, a thing of chicken drumsticks and then these steakhouse seasoned tavern beef patties that sounded really good that we'll probably cook those on the grill at some point. Um, they gave us, they were only supposed, we, I think we were supposed to get four of these and she said, why don't you take one for each of your household? So we picked up seven of these. And my kids like these. They're pretzels, little like salami bites, and then little chocolates. And they'll choose that for snack a lot of times. Two things of some blueberry yogurt. This looked interesting. It's, it's a little worse for the wear. It got tipped on the way home. Uh, this is a chicken street taco kit. So it has the tortillas. It has chicken. There's lettuce, which is looking a little rough. So I will probably just pull the, the meat out a salsa, a crema, and then there's a lemon in there, or two limes in there as well. So, um, like I said, I will probably just pull the chicken out and then we'll use it how we figure out how to use it. But it was kind of a neat thing. I may end up just using the chicken for me on salads um, and then keeping the salsa and crema and tortillas for something else. Uh, there were two of these little snack trays that is chicken salad, some little pitas, uh, cheese and grapes which I'm sure my kids will like to use as snacks um, she also let us we were supposed to pick up two items and she's like do you guys like brie and I was like I have never had brie in my entire life um, because it's fancy cheese uh, this thing originally was like 12 bucks or something it was some, some ridiculous price more than I would ever spend on cheese um, but she's like why don't you take one and give it a try so we're gonna try it she said to bring it to room temperature and then to put like some jelly on it and serve it with crackers so probably we do um, like snacky dinners for Sundays where we just kind of pull out charcuterie board stuff so I think we'll probably pull that out and eat it then um, if you have used brie for something or something else besides the way she said to serve it let me know um, because, yeah, that's that's a pretty big thing. It looks good. We'll see. I like cheese. So, bread products, they loaded us up. Uh, these were out. They have a table out front that is take as much as you want. It's things that they have an overabundance of, uh, and they just don't think they're going to get rid of it. So, these are, um, I like to cut these open like this, open it, put lunch meat and cheese, and bake them, uh, and make little mini, like, slider sandwiches. So, I picked up a couple of those. Uh, these were also on that table and then we got to pick out two what am I seeing here I'm missing something what else did I pick did I not hang on just a second 
Okay, my brain just wasn't registering something. It's fine. This was two off of this shelf. These looked pretty cool. Uh, some blueberry oat bread that I will probably make into like French toast. Or um, the kids will just eat it for breakfast toasted with some butter on it or something like that. Uh, this was on a shelf. Some blueberry bagels. And then I also picked up this thing of garlic bread. This is one that's like sliced open long ways instead of like into individual slices. And we picked up one of these before. And I made it into pizza. I scraped off some of the garlic butter stuff um, just because it was really thick and I was afraid all the toppings were going to slide off. But then I just put pizza toppings on it like normal and it was really good. All the kids really liked that extra like buttery flavor, buttery garlicky flavor. So, And then we could pick out two dessert items. So I picked out these glazed apple fritters. Don't those look amazing? Um, and we will eat those for breakfast or breakfast for dinner or... Um, like Saturday morning breakfast, that kind of thing. Uh, and most of the bread products I um, just throw in the freezer and then we use them as we need them. Um, that works out quite well, although those I will probably just go ahead and make into French toast if I'm going to do that and then put the French toast in the freezer. They had lots of fruits and veggies and we were able to take in my peppers all um, came ripe all at the same time pretty much. So I froze what we will need and then the kids have been eating off of them as snack peppers. And then I took in, I don't know, maybe a like two-gallon bucket of peppers for them to hand out. And by the time we went through and got back out, like 90% of them were done. So gone. So that was good. Uh, a bag of peaches, two bags of sweet sapphire black grapes, and then some autumn crisp green grapes. Those look really good. They're like big and I can tell they're going to be crunchy. Uh, and then three things of underripe, slightly worse for the rare strawberries that we will just get used really quickly. Or I may just clean them all and then put them in the freezer, um, freeze them on a cookie sheet so that they aren't all stuck together. And then the kids can use them in smoothies or in oatmeal or whatever. Oh, um, down here on the floor. And this is round one. I have a second round. She was just pulling these out. And she said, do you want some of these? And I was like, oh, I would love to have some herbs. And she goes, take them all. And I was like, are you sure? And she was like, yes, because in the past when they have gotten these, nobody takes them. Because nobody's just sure what to do with them. And I don't even use fresh herbs a whole lot. I will uh, be putting these through my dehydrator. So there is a bunch of thyme, a bunch of rosemary, and a bunch of mint. And they're even all organic the mint I will use to make tea, um, the rosemary and thyme I will use in cooking, and I probably won't have to buy any of those for a year or more because of that. So that's awesome. I'm very, very excited about that and was thoroughly tickled that she was like, take them all. I did leave some, uh, like at least a few packages of each one. But um, today is Thursday, and they're only open on Tuesdays and Thursdays, so they won't be open again until next Thursday or next Tuesday, which is like a full... Um, four days from now so those will not survive for four days and so she's like yeah please take them because they're not going to get rid of all of them today so they're, they'd be in the trash unfortunately alright so I'm going to go put these things away and then I will get out the rest of it which isn't a whole lot but I'll be right back alright round two is shelf stable items breakfast cereal we could pick one we did this uh, granola with raisins my kids will eat this as cereal or on top of yogurt. Some of those blueberry yogurt we got. Uh, miscellaneous shelf, we could pick two, and I did two of the vanilla caramel coffee creamers. My husband drinks these. Sometimes I will do decaf coffee for the kids and I, um, and so we'll drink them, and they're also really good in uh, hot chocolate as, like, adding a creamy flavor factor to it. Uh, we could pick one water or drink per member of our household and she had this case of eight and she's like just go ahead and take the whole thing even though we have seven um and we did try one on the way home it's okay kind of light in flavor compared to some of the other sparkling waters but not bad uh, i would say i wouldn't buy it again like if i were to buy it i wouldn't i wouldn't spend money on it uh i picked up this as something mm, i just thought of something it says just add chicken Add that taco chicken from that pack, that thing. There we go. Uh, I figured this would make a quick and easy dinner 
um, or lunch at some point. So we might do that for lunch today is kind of what that's looking like. Uh, some box mac and cheese that had Super Mario Brothers on it. My kids saw that. We have never played the video game. I think a few of them have seen the movie. Uh, but, I mean, come on. Packaging. Um, <laughs> two things of crunchy peanut butter. A thing of apple, or sorry, pineapple tidbits, because we could pick one fruit. Four vegetables, so I did two cor corn and two um, sweet peas. Sweet peas is about the only canned vegetable that my kids like. Um, out of the can and then the corn I can add to soups and that kind of thing during the winter and they'll eat it without complaint. Um, the, let's see here, what else? Those two things and these two things were on the same shelf. I picked up a can of tuna and a can of salmon. Uh, I wish they have a limit of one of these on the shelf. Otherwise, I would totally pick up like four salmon. Um, but I understand why those are a little, little bit more pricey items and probably the more desirable items. Two non-food items of some feminine hygiene products. Uh, we could pick up seven items off of this shelf. Uh, so I picked up these and then this. So the Snyder's pieces, cheddar cheese, and then this cheddar cheese and beef sticks. I thought that might be something that my husband could take in the truck with him or my kids would gladly eat it too. Or, hmm, I might throw that in my purse as like a backup mom needs to eat something food. Um, usually I can't do if like we're out and about, like fast food is out on what my stomach can handle, but those probably would be fine. Um, and I could share them with the kids. Then we got to pick out one item on a different shelf, one for each member of our household. So I picked out these two hubba bubba bubblegum, because that's fun to say. Um, and then I let each of the five kids were with me today. So um, I let them each pick an item and they have disappeared. I know a couple of them picked out gum. Two picked out nerd's rope thing. And then my oldest daughter picked out that chocolate chip muffin. And I told her she's not allowed to eat it in one sitting because, are you ready, 90 carbs if you eat the whole thing. That's ridiculous. The, the general consensus is that under 100 carbs a day is a fairly well-balanced diet. Um, and, uh, yeah, that would be all of her carbs for a day, which cracks me up. Uh, and then another shelf, we could pick two snack items. I did these Dots snacks, and they are they're kind of like Cheetos but they have their seasoning on them. And I had to crack up Dot's home style snacks. Has anyone ever made Cheetos at home? I kind of doubt it. And then I picked those up for me. They are just generally just cheese. Um, yeah. And they're delicious. They're like a crunchy chip option. I like to eat them with a little bit of dip, that kind of thing. So that is everything. All right, looking around at my mess and my madness. Um, huge blessing, huge blessing. Once again, it, we were down to like a fraction of a, a gallon of milk and we got two gallons of milk. There's meat, there's all those fresh vegetables, all those, yay. Um, I, I told the kids the house is gonna smell really good over the next couple of days as I get those in the dehydrator. Um, and I'm super excited about that. Um, but yeah, huge blessing, it always is. It always is can never come at a better time I'm telling you okay so if you need help here's my spiel if you need help if you need a little help for one month if you need a lot of help for the next your lifetime if you are a single mom who is working your butt off and barely making ends meet go go to the food bank if you are a college student who is working your butt off and barely making ends meet go to the food pantry if you are great grandma Gertrude who um your social security check just doesn't cover all of it, go to the food pantry. That's what they're there for. Um, my husband works at an awesome job. We are making it work, but we have some repairs that we have to get done on our house because it's rotting off the side of our house kind of thing. Um, and so we are actively working on, we've been saving up to get that done. And um, the food pantry has helped us to get there. It has helped us to make our car payments. It has helped us to um, 
get our kids into the eye doctor and the dentist and the, you know, all the things. So, um, that's what food pantries are there for. And I will say it once again, like I have said it a million times, most of this food was destined for the trash. There's an example. It expired. The, the sell by date is June of this year. It's still good. That's just the sell by date. Sometimes it's things that are overstocked. Sometimes it's things that are expired or almost expired. Um, those are good until October, but my guess would be they, they were just overstocked or like a flavor that not a lot of people liked. So the grocery store went, okay, we just have too much of these. We're going to donate them. Uh, ready? It's taped shut. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. It was just, for whatever reason, it got smushed. Same with this one. Bottom of the box got smushed. There's nothing wrong with it. It's still intact, 100% fine. I would guess this was probably in a box and the box got damaged. Those kind of things. That this food, the majority of it was destined for the dumpster. So in the process of helping yourself, you are also helping food, keep food out of the landfill. And you are reducing our ridiculous amount of food waste in our country. While you're on here on YouTube, go search dumpster diving at a grocery store near you. Kroger, Marsh, uh, Piggly Wiggly, um, Aldi, whatever, and you're going to see how the ridiculous amount of food that gets thrown away in our country when there are people that are hungry. So that's my, my soapbox spiel. If you need help, there is a link in the show notes of how to find a food pantry in your area. Visit uh, Volunteer. If you aren't in need, volunteer at your food pantry. If you have a garden and extra produce, donate to the food pantry. These are there for a good reason. Yeah, you've got those handful of people that are misusing it, but the majority of those people that walk through those doors are actually in need of help. So I appreciate anybody who donates and volunteers and whatever because you guys have helped take a load off of this mama's heart. So... All right, I'm going to put this away and make lunch, and I'm totally doing that. Uh, I'm so glad that I, like, randomly picked up those two things that will work together. So thank you so much for watching this. I hope you have a great day. Goodbye and God bless.